Greetings, survivors and friends. Shadow Franks here with all your latest Rust development news as we lurch uncontrollably towards next week's big patch on the 7th. First of all, though, get thyself over to the sub button and press it all the way in and give the bell a tinkle too to join the Ring a Ding Ding Club whilst you're at it. So, the rail network is now on the staging branch and is planned to start generating on all good procedural maps this month, over a certain size, of course. Presently, a map needs to be over 4250 in size because the network needs the room. I know how it feels. At first, it won't include any trains, although friendly server owners can quite easily spawn a work cart onto it for you. The train lines are very much subject to change, and will eventually include two-way traffic, stations and sidings, etc, etc. Plus, as mentioned last week, it will be using a new train model that's being worked on by the team as I speak, and there are a couple of new toys that can currently be spawned in to give us an idea, namely train engine temp and carriage, and these are very rough Roblox items, not indicative of any final models, and are just for testing purposes, of course. The train engine works just the same as a work cart, but longer, and the carriages have a couple of mount points, but I wouldn't take any of this as final. According to the commits, you'll be able to couple and uncouple these, it seems, but how long we will be able to make a train is anyone's guess at the moment. No doubt this will be something we'll be able to gauge better in time. As the thumbnail shows, a couple of other new items have crept onto the staging branch too. First up, some dog tags, which, no, don't have anything to do with the pets branch, but rather seem to be event related. No word on what that event is yet, but feel free to guess in the comments. Um, just one thing. Oh, hi Grammar Horse, how are you? Uh, fine thanks. Uh, I just noticed that the red dog tags say they're blue dog tags. I wonder if that's some kind of undercover thing. Nah, I think you're barking up the wrong tree there. I'm sure they'll fix that soon. Also, in keeping with the gritty realism of Fortnite, I, I mean Rust, this abomination looks like it'll be making its way onto the store next week to tie in with the usual seasonal tat, although no idea how much you'll have to shell out for it yet. One interesting feature is that you'll be able to paint on it, although clearly this is a work in progress at the moment and results may vary. Would love to be able to paint on other items of clothing, etc could save a fortune on skins if you were good enough. The zip lines have been adjusted somewhat since last week. There's a change to the wording when going to mount one, and it now takes three seconds to get to top speed, which will end up being slightly faster than before when you reach it. Lines will be able to pass through multiple destination points to enable you to travel further without having to climb up to new platforms. At least, that's how I read it, and some changes are being made to prevent players from getting dismounted and killed accidentally by the terrain in certain edge cases. Work continues on the lighting slash darkening of various monuments, with the excavator, stables, arctic bases, and fishing villages currently getting the treatment. Wet, cold, and starving status info should no longer be blocked by helmets. The graphics quality should default to good rather than super potato on your first install, which will be a big bonus, especially to people who need to <clears throat> reinstall the game on a regular basis. Some new achievements have appeared, probably what all the extra server analytic work's been leading up to. There's more work in progress on pets, happiness, and no, there's nothing new to say on the recall changes, apart from that it's being worked on and won't be in this next patch. Right, that's your lot. Let me know your thoughts below. Follow me on Twitch for streams, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and my Steam group for updates. And you can support me directly through Patreon, channel memberships, or via my merch store. Links are all below. I shall count you all soon. But in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. This video is powered by AWDIT's producer range of workstation PCs, available now at awdit.co.uk. And results may vary.